what kind of uh, a cheat code or how, how important is it to have someone, you know, your partner, your wife, um, when you guys are kind of like working towards the same goals and are um, working together? How important is that in your business? It's, it's major. So I, I'll say this. If you don't have it, that doesn't mean it's not possible. Because I, I see a lot of times that people say, well, you know what? If if I only had, you know, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, a wife, a significant other, whatever, right? I, I'll be able to hit this next level and I'll be able to do this, do that. You would do all level of it. But when you do have it, it does uh, make it exponentially easier because you have two people. It's what you said, Jimmy. You had two people working towards a common goal. And even though you may have a, I could have a business partner, but at the end of the day, does that business partner's goals line up with mine? Me and you could go into business together, but I might in the back of my mind say, I want this to be a legacy play to hand down to my kids because 20 years from now, I don't want to be working. I want to retire and give everything away. You could have a whole different thing where you say, hey, you're in the business right now, but 20 years from now, you want to take this business, scale it up and grow it and never give it up, right? Um, so so even with a business partner, I think if you can if you can develop that type of relationship with your partner, uh, your life partner, right? I, I think it puts you in a, in a better position because like you said, you should be working towards the same goal. So if your goals together, you can come on the same page for the business and then have the similar goals for your family, it creates a link where you should be headed the same way and twice twice, uh, twice as fast. Yeah, that's true. And you guys have created a, a number of businesses. Like I said, you've won all kinds of awards. Um, I would, I would have been here for hours reading all the awards you guys have won. Um, but tell us about uh, how you started some of your business. What's the, uh, the actual business that got you started? Yeah. So for, for us together, the original thing we created was a blog and the blog was called black and married with kids.com. So we wanted to create a site, uh, and a blog. We were talking about doing it right. This was December, 2007. So we were talking about, you know, let's create something, let's launch something. But we were like, it was something that uh, if we write about people to read, because we, we can write, but we not like, hey, we love to write. We just want to get stuff off our chest. That ain't us. So yeah. we was like, what stuff that we write about people actually want to read and they'll, they'll want to be a part of it. Then we said, what's things that people are interested in? So they'll, they'll come and, and come back to it. And when we, we dug into it, we said relationships. And we said, let's dig deeper than that. We said black relationships. And we said, let's dig deeper than that. Let's, let's niche down because you always hear what the niche is it. Niche, riches riches and niches. Yep. So we said, let's dig down deep. And we looked at it. We said, let's talk about what marriage looks like inside of and, and externally from the outside looking in at a black community. Let's talk about how successful marriage and relationships do exist because we never hear that or see that in the press. Let's talk about fathers that are in the homes taking care of not just their kids, but taking care of other people's kids oftentimes too, because that's totally ignored as well. And, and when we created that site, Black and Married with Kids, what happened was we had couples that have been married 20, 30 years and said, thank you. We never see ourselves represented on TV, in the newspaper, in the press, in the magazines. So this is us. We had singles that came and either said, hey, my parents have been married 40, 50 years, so I know this exists, but I never see it. And we had singles that came and said, hey, I want this one day. Like, I want a stable, healthy relationship, and I want to prepare myself for the marriage that I want. So we went from starting that blog to it instantly took off. Um then we started creating products, right? Our first product, we did a documentary film, had no previous experience, but went on to make seven full-length documentary films. We screen a doc, we do our own tours. We'd have like our own seven to 10 city tour. We rent a private theater in um, different cities and states, anywhere from Houston, Dallas, DC, Baltimore, Chicago, um, uh, St. Louis. I mean, just all over the country, we rent out theaters, tour around, do screenings, get people out. And during the process of selling these movies, we learned how to market. So we would have to, have to figure out, like, how can we get going to a whole new city we don't live in and get three, four hundred people out to an actual screening? When we get them there, right, how can we not just get them to buy the ticket, but get them to actually buy the product? How can we create bundles? How can we maximize the actual office? How can we create scarcity around the offers that we have? So we went from that and learning how to really sell and market those tickets and theaters and movies online to then creating ebooks and audio books and boot camps and workshops. And we even did four cruises uh, with that community. So, so as we did all of that, it was very public. We see like a ton of press, everything from, you know, we've been Ebony, Essence, and Jet. We were in uh, um, the Washington Post, Atlanta Journal Constitution, New mm -hmm. York Post, CNN, HLN, Good Morning America, Today Show, all that type of stuff. So people saw us growing the business right in front of them. And what happened is eventually they kept coming and saying, hey, teach me how to do what you're doing. Teach me how to build a business. Teach me how y'all get clients. Teach me how you get people to come to these events. And that's we birthed the business that we focus on now, which is called Traffic, Sales, and Profit, where we help black entrepreneurs literally just learn how to do that. How can they drive more traffic, convert more sales, and grow more profit in their businesses?
Yeah, listen, I'm actually reading your book now, um, which is amazing, by the way. I'm almost done it. 